In this video, we're going to create a filler in project mode. So we've got a simple project already set up, two identical cabinets, and they're set off just slightly from the left-hand side wall. I'm going to select this cabinet closest to the wall and also select the wall at the same time. So hold down control and select the wall. Now, if I right click, I can get to the create a filler command. Let's select that. Now here we can see the fillers come in on the right hand side. Let's move it round with the arrows to the left hand side. I'm going to recess the filler by 50 millimeters and click OK. Click in the 3D and we'll see our filler has appeared. We can go back into the filler itself, double click here to edit it. I'm going to zoom right in. We can move it with the anchor points on the corners or we can move aside. Let's drag it down to the floor and we can see the impact. We can see that change in the 3D mode here. I'll show you another application of this filler feature. Now I'm going to add a ceiling. Click OK. Let's put that at 2500 mil. Transparency 80. Can see our ceiling. Now we can select that and our two cabinets. Right click, create a filler, and the filler comes in above the two cabinets, between the cabinets and the ceiling. I can drag the base of it up, click OK. So we've created here a panel perhaps for some light fittings. Let's do it again. Select the ceiling, both cabinets. Create a filler. This time, in fact, it's come in uh, at the back of the two cabinets, which is where I'd like it. You can drag the top down. Click OK. Now we've created a nice backsplash for a kitchen, for example. And all these extra filler panels will come through into your cut list and plans as well. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.